Hi, I'm Peter Bolland. So what happens when people die? I have no idea, but I do know that it's one of the great philosophical questions. And I'd love to join you this coming Tuesday, May 25th at 10 a.m. at San Diego Oasis for my 90-minute webinar called Death and Resurrection in World Mythology, where we'll explore this question through the lens of wisdom traditions all over the world. See you then. Sergei Rachmaninoff, the composer's creativity is so exceptional that it is hard to adequately describe. His compositions are stunning, romantic, heroic, and profound. The best idea I have for you is to experience his music personally. Class 158, Rachmaninoff, Profound and Romantic, on Friday, March 28th, from 3 to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hi, have you ever paid for something with your phone? Maybe you paid for groceries or you split a tab with a friend. My name is Mary Burns, and I want to tell you about my next class, Money and Tech. Is your digital wallet ready? Digital money allows you to use your phone to pay people and businesses, all without taking out a credit card or a checkbook. In this class, we'll learn about digital money, digital wallets, and a unique kind of digital money, cryptocurrency. Join us on May 27th at 10 a.m. as we present Money in Tech. Is your digital wallet ready? See you then. Hi, I'm Amy O'Connor, and I'm inviting you to come craft with me Friday, May 28th at 11 a.m. We're going to turn a blank canvas into a beautiful piece of art. All you need is Mod Podge and some old scrapbook paper or magazines or newspapers that you have lying around your house. Sign up for class 186, and I look forward to crafting with you. Hi, I'm Marilyn McPhee, and I've got some stories for you. Please join me on Thursday, May the 27th at 1 p.m. for the lore and legends of spice. Of course, your cupboards are filled with jars of spice, and I imagine that you use basil in your pesto. But did you know that anciently it was thought to be effective in warding off dragons? And do you know why ancient Roman scholars wore sprigs of rosemary in their hair? And I'll tell a few stories in which these and other spices play a starring role. So I hope that you'll join me on Thursday for the legends and lore of spices. Thanks. See you then. Hi, folks. Professor Golden here. I'm out traveling the beautiful U.S. I'm in Nevada right now. But join me Monday the 24th for class 107 YouTube for newbies. I'll show you how to upload all your videos like I've been doing while I'm traveling or anything you want to know how to do there's a video on YouTube to show you. Join me Monday the 24th class 107 1 p.m. See you online. Hi, this is Julia Pfister, and I would like for you to join me Wednesday, May 26th at 1 p.m. Uh, for my lecture on the Degenerate Art Show uh, that was organized by the uh, Nazi Party in Munich in 1939. Um, we'll kind of take a look at uh, all the conditions that uh, led up to it and uh, what art was in it and also what art was in the alternative show as well. Um, just as a quick preview, we've got uh, one by Pete Mondrian, um, who many may say that does belong in there, um, but uh, it's, it certainly doesn't in the whole genre of art. So again, look forward to seeing you Wednesday, May 26 at 1 p.m. Thank you. Hi, I'm Blaine Davies. Despite a mediocre military record, not to mention starting the First World War, George Washington became commander of the Continental Army. During the Revolutionary War, he lost more battles than he won. He didn't write the Declaration of Independence or the Constitution. And yet George Washington became not only our first president, but is justifiably recognized as the father of our country. Please join me Tuesday, May 25th at 6 p.m. when we explore the life of George Washington and discover why the man who wouldn't be king was the one indispensable man of the American Revolution and the founding of our republic. When you drive through your city, do you understand why some areas have tall buildings and some areas are low density one story buildings? Why the suburbs are generally low density residential and surrounding the central business district? 
This class will look at a comparison of New York City and Los Angeles to explain the principles of land use, and we look at historical perspective and the role of technological change. Thank you and hope to see you then.